classic muscle cars loves convertibles and we're ready to take a ride stay tuned and watch our next video don't forget to share and like Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. Uh, today I'm here with Mike. Hello, Mike. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about this event? Yes, this is our first inaugural event uh, for the Oswego Police Department's uh, Explorer Post. So the idea here is a fundraiser for the Explorer's Post so they can uh, buy equipment and uniforms and things like that. Uh, and are you planning to do this every year from We now? are. We are. This was the first year and we didn't know how it would turn out. Um, turns out that it worked out pretty well. A lot has to do with the weather. So um, we are planning one next year. It will be in the fall, probably maybe a little earlier, September-ish. Um, I think next year we will pick a, another cause uh, to donate back to possibly veterans organizations or something like that. And where can we follow you so we can know when you might post this? Um, everything is put on our uh, Oswego Police Department Facebook page is where it was primarily advertised. Um, we also do like Car Show Finder. Uh, that was kind of a last minute thing we did, but um, next year we'll probably advertise a little earlier, so. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, if anything, you can let us know. We can also post it on our website. That would be amazing. Um, put it on YouTube. Yep. Um, thank We're happy you so to much. have you out, and uh, thanks for coming, and hope to see you next year. All right, thank, thank you. you so much. All righty. Have a good one. Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. My name is Marlene, and today I'm here with Dave. How huh, Dave? Dave. Dave. I said. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the vehicle that you brought here today? It's a 68 Corvair. It's a California car. I purchased it from my father-in-law about six years ago, and he's the one that bought it out of California, and he had it for about five or six years, so it's been in the family for close to 12 years. Nice. How many miles does this car have so far? 49,000. Nice. So next year it'll be 50 years old and it'll have 50,000 miles, so. <laughs> no. Can you tell us about the paint of the car? It's a uh, Corvette color. I heard it's, I'm not sure what it is, but I've heard it's Le Mans blue. And I see it has like some flames. Ghost flames and stripes, yes. A lot of people don't notice that. You only kind of see it in certain lighting. Yeah, there's a little bit of cloud today, but you can still see it. <laughs> Tell us about the rims and the wheels. Now when it came, when I had the car, it had uh, keystones on there and I just didn't like the looks of it, so I upgraded to uh, the biggest tire and wheel package I could fit under there. So they're BG Hot Rods and BF Goodrich Radial TA tires. Tell me about the interior of the car. All stack. All stack interior. Um, just been cleaned up. Nothing's been replaced or anything on it. It's just clean. Any updates? Uh, radio, AM, FM radio. That's it. Other than that, it's a stack car on the inside. Can you show me the engine of the car? Sure. In the back. Okay. So, um, how much horsepower does it have? This is around 150 horsepower. They say they're 140, but it has a few upgrades on it. Um, it's a flat six, horizontally opposed, no radiator, it's air-cooled. It's got, this one has the four carburetors on it. Um, they have one that has two carburetors, and then this is an upgrade to four, and then there's another one that has a turbo. Is it difficult to maintain? Uh, at this point, no, but it's hard to find somebody that knows how to work on them. Do so, you work on them yourself? Uh, minor stuff. If it's bigger stuff, I have a few people that I know that still work on these, but they're not like a normal engine, so a lot of guys don't know all the ins and outs of them. But once you get them running good, I have really done nothing other than redo the carburetors in the six years I've had it. So I've had really good luck. The, can you tell me about the drive pot? This, this is what cools it here. This is a fan belt. It goes up, goes down, and around. Usually they just go in a loop. 
this one is bent every way so you always carry an extra fan belt in your glove box because if this breaks you got like two minutes to stop or you uh, roast the engine can you tell me about air and intake for the cooling yes that's what these vents up here are for and then there's a fan that the belt drives underneath here and that it pulls the cool air down through here and then it exits out a vent in the bottom and that's basically how it cools so what do you have in the front of the car junk you want to see it <laughs> <laughs> let's see the junk in your trunk Big trunk wow. for the for the day. <laughs> How is the car to drive? It it drives really good. It's not a race car where like the Mustangs and Camaros where they can take off at the corner and they're gone. But I can catch up with them and we get in the corners and I can take them in the corners. Really? Really? It, it corners like it's on rails. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Did you know the car was in Bewitch? Yes, they had a couple of them actually. All right. Well, thank you so much, and it was a pleasure. Well, thank you. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for the interview. Oh. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share, and like our videos. Please, please, please subscribe. We appreciate it.